I think Spring Bowl Bible Camp is about bringing people together in a place where um, at least part of their lives and busyness can be forgotten for a little while. I think that uh, our lives are so loud and so busy that being here where we're away from that lets us get a better sense of who we are uh, without the world defining us and just a chance to listen for God a little more closely. I think the kids go through a big process of growth through the week. Uh, when they arrive, um, it's kind of disjointed. Everyone is uh, bringing their own baggage to camp, uh, literally in their bags, but also just in the troubles from their lives. And it takes a few days, I think, to build some trust. And the first day or two, they're just kind of bonding and getting to know each other. Worship is probably my favorite time uh, that we have here. One of the important things that we believe about worship is that we become like what we worship. And because of that, we try to have in, uh, periods of intentional worship where we choose very carefully uh, what songs and scriptures and uh, people that come to share. I am here, come to me, broken one, I am here. You know, you have a unique story. Your story begins and ends with God. Your story begins with God and your story ends with God. And each of us have a unique path. You have a unique story. The things that happen to me may not happen to you. In worship, somehow we're formed into who we are. And so uh, just the kids, uh, the voices all blending together at this young age where they're not afraid to to sing out and just be who they are and learning new songs and sharing new thoughts. It's pretty exciting to see the kids participate in something that we hope will form them for their whole lives. Come to me, weary one. But the voice answered me again from heaven. What God is doing? Well, God has Broken one, I am here, I am here, and rest in my arms, oh my child, oh my child. The family groups are probably one of the more challenging things we have to, to put together because at the age groups we have, it's hard to uh, plan something engaging for the kids, for the campers, to make sure that they become involved in. But we think it's important um, for a couple of reasons. We think that, that community is the way that God intends for us to study His Word and to come to maybe some conclusions on how to apply His truth. So what we want the families to be glimpses at the communities that they're going to have in churches and in their own families as they get older. And also then the generations mix some in their thoughts because uh, the counselors also get to, uh, you know, share on a more one-on-one -on -one basis with the kids, look them eye to eye, and uh, just share some of the things that are important in life. Come to me, weary one. I am here. I am here. Come to me. You know, the cooks are, are by far the most important people here. Far and away, the cooks work harder than anybody, and I'm not just saying that so they'll keep cooking for us. It really is the truth. They work under hot conditions. They work long hours. They're up late and up early, and uh, they really are the heart and soul of this. And it, it's important to us that we have, uh, you know, Leonard and Vicki and everybody that working in the kitchens are such followers of Jesus, too, that I know that they prepare the food as a blessing, not just as nourishment. 
and I think it I think it really helps the kids that that a blessing is sent out with the food for the day more than just the nutrients. Recreation probably helps build community. The way that we hope is that they get to, they get to achieve something together. Lester does a little tournament. Uh, he's hand created a trophy. <laughs> but the second way that we hope is that uh, people I think learn a little tolerance. People that don't particularly like recreation uh, get a chance to at least have a good enough attitude to be near the action uh, and learn not to uh, to have their own way all the time maybe even but they uh, should participate just because the community is participating in something. Yes, Lester Burris is the new guy that's in charge of uh, Missy Games tonight. The person in the front is going to get peanut butter smeared all over their face <laughs> by the person in the back. Funny things about the last day of camp is we let them sleep in because they're so tired from the week. Breakfast is a little later and our schedule is quite a bit different. Some kind of sadness settles in over the kids. Uh, these mountaintop experiences that we have at camp and places like this. You can sense that there's a dread to leave, I think, in a lot of the kids. Hi, Mom. 